On the job and for just two weeks, the new superintendent of the Edgewood Independent School District is on a listening tour, visiting nearly 100 Edgewood schools. Yeah, the former principal at several Dallas schools, Dr. Emilio Castro Jr. was a deputy superintendent with SAISD. As our Jesse Deguiato reports, despite its problems, Castro aware of Edgewood's historic role in a landmark court case. What are they asking us? These kids aren't just learning basic math. Estas cuantas partes tienen? Dos. In this bilingual class, they're doing it in two languages. The Edgewood community, that includes a lot of Spanish speakers, is now led by a veteran educator from both Dallas ISD and SAISD. I'm so honored and I feel so privileged to be able to, to be here and serve here in Edgewood ISD. The Texas Education Agency is having to oversee Edgewood due to governance issues with its school board. But at one time in the early 90s, Edgewood won a landmark case in the Supreme Court to increase state funding for property poor school districts. Being a very historic district, the culture and the richness of what's available here with our people, with our community, just has a, offers a lot to build on. He says bringing together parents and staff, businesses and faith-based groups creates the kind of environment students need. That empowers engages and provides them an opportunity to reach their highest potential. A top priority, getting kids back in class. So in a pep talk just before the counseling staff headed out to make home visits, Castro shared the story of a parent liaison. When he was talking to our kids and connecting our families with our schools, it was making a big impact. In a sense, he says, nurturing a new attitude. Jesse de Gollado, KSAT 12 News.